Welcome back, everybody, to more Harvester. Yeah. Chadra. Gotta go to TV station, I think. Chad Russell Ween. Well, no, no. He said go look at it before it burns down. Ah, uh, we probably got time. You maybe want to fill out that application, though, I bet. With that pen. Yep, you got a pen. Uh, I guess you could fill it out in front of him. Why not? Why was he? What does he care? That's a ticket. <laughs> That's a ticket. I see you've managed to acquire an application that demonstrates resourcefulness. A desirable. Yeah. For really? Members. Yeah, we're pretty good. You need a rest. I mean. Report back here. For ah, now decision. we're gonna get some direction. Some real direction. What, who's he to say that I need a rest? Uh, he's that guy. Clearly he's important. This this massive fucking building the sergeant is just arms. sitting in the middle of this town and people are just like, yeah, it's the lodge. It's meat. And it looks great, right? Meat lodge. I want to go there one day. Go have, your, go have your wedding at the meat lodge. With the druids. Really hired an everyman. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's that face we know. Nothing we. It's a partner. Oh, that guy's eyes were coming out. Nothing we've seen. Just his nightmares. The nightmares of old sheepish eyes. I, I mean, nothing we've seen so far in this game has, like, has anything to do with what just happened. Not yet. Who knows? Maybe eventually. You see that guy's eyes get pulled out? I bet. Yeah. Stuff like that goes on in this town. Yeah, look, that guy looked none too pleased. He's like, I don't know my eye. Make sure there's. Still can't take my shades. Right, so, I guess we better go talk to uh, the sergeant at arms. Get our next assignment, our first assignment, really. Oh, you got the paper for the kid? Oh shit! Why is this a thing? Don't worry about it. Well, I think you missed. I did. Uh oh, you got it. Oh good. Hey Steve, you've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the morning. You just keep doing that, and we won't have any problems. That's not much to ask, is it? What the now, fuck? You might have something else that he needs, too. Oh. No. No. That don't mean zip to me. Uh, there may have been something else in the evidence lockers. There's mention of sneakers. Really? Yeah, but don't worry. I'm sure he... I should be fine right now. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be fine. <clears throat> I didn't see sneakers. Let me check again. Wait, then I... Can I still get in there? Let's find out. Sure hope so. Yeah, it's wide open. And that guy ain't gonna tell on you. Sneakers. There you go. Who give those to the kid? Assuming he's still there. He better be. He might not be. Eh, worst case, you give it to him tomorrow. Yeah, to be fair, I don't even think we were supposed to be at the police station that early in the game. Okay, yeah. tomorrow we'll give it to him. So, yeah, let's go get our mission, our orders, I, as it were. I got rest! Did you wish to be initiated into the mysteries of the Order of Yeah, Arms. I gave you the application. No, I've changed my mind. I get a bad feeling from this damned place. No. I'm so curious what would happen. Yeah, but I'd rather have saved it right beforehand, you know? Fuck! Very well. No, that securing the application was but the first step on your road to enlightenment. Now we must complete a series of tasks. Like, I want to... What was going on in his head? The guy wrote this. When he was like, yeah, fucking this creepy cult. Finer pranks! We got pulled. It's a YouTube. Combat. It's a YouTube channel. What have you got in mind? Oh, there is no. <laughs> a man named Mr. Johnson. 
Oh. He owns a tucker. This is pride and joy. I should like you to put a scratch Ow. in it. A oh. scratch. Yeah, That's let's go scratch it. I'm, I'm all for it. Let's scratch it. A minor prank. I just didn't want to go Mind near him you, again. You are not to damage the vehicle. Really put a single scratch in it. Once you have done Oh, that sounds super easy. Here. I mean, yeah. But this means we also got to go next chance. to that creep again. Yeah. Look at oh, his you don't fucking have to talk googly to eyes. Well, I guess we could, uh... I don't know what the... So do I have something that could scratch a vehicle? I don't think I do. I have a pen, but that's it. I'm gonna need like a key or something. Apparently, you bet you need to do this during the night time. Okay. Regardless, know why. I don't have... He won't be out here? Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna read this straight out of this, this manual, or walk through here. When you scratch it at daytime, Mr. Johnson will try to kill you. You can easily kill him, but you'll end up in the electric chair if you do. <laughs> so let's not have that Naturally. happen. Or save it. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Just to try it. Nah, it's fine. No. Um, so I need I need a key to scratch his car. Uh, no, not necessarily. Or a screwdriver or something. But I have a pen. I mean, honestly, I don't any think the pen would really do it though. Because I, I've already used, I used the pen to sign the paper. So the pen is functioning as a pen. Right. Um, I feel like I need a different, like, scissors, maybe? Have a look. Can't hurt. I it, Honestly, it's one of the we few good places. It would be nice to, oh, this place looks like a goddamn Circus of Horrors already. <laughs> oh, yeah. you, you can just tell this isn't going to go well. Yeah. That shirt? I'm already nervous. Doesn't respond, not understanding English. Howdy, Steve. Yeah. It's fucking Billy I'll Barty. Back, Mr. Is it? No. Pete Swell, Steve. Don't you pull my old leg now. Change your mind about that aluminum siding? What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into buying some. He can afford it. And I can't stress <laughs> enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. Keeps it warm in the summer, cool in the winter, but and it keeps out the sheep. Pastorelli ought to look into some, but I can't get him to understand a word I say. Oh. So, so who is this? <laughs> this guy just does sells siding? He sells aluminum siding. And uh, he... Wish his pastorelli could understand him. I need to understand more about the sheep thing. Nasty thing in here. Must remind him of the pastures in Italy. Kind of like why I keep wrenches under my pillow, so as I can dream about plumbing. All right, pastorelli's a rube from way back. A rube. Ask Clem Parsons how we followed up with the alarm system in here. I'm a plumber. I could fix it for him, but he just won't listen. The alarm system. So, ask about how he fudged up the alarm system. I'm a plumber. I could fix it. Right. But I won't. <laughs> but I'm a plumber. Yes. But and I could absolutely fix this alarm system. <laughs> yeah. Look, plumbers. This is the 50s, okay? Yeah. I Different time. The Their alarm system is just a pop, a <laughs> bunch so of pipes, pipes, pipes to spray a bunch of shit up people. <laughs> now, you know what? Say what you want about the old technology. <laughs> Nobody was breaking in as often <laughs> yeah. as they do now. It was quite effective. Nice All right. to see you again, Steve. He look, like, his face looks like fucking Bobby from Ernest <laughs> movies. Look yeah. at look he looks at the face. Related to him. He looks related to him. Oh no, no. That's hiding off my hand, son. I'll cut you a nice price on it. Uh, I ain't got no money. Well, I don't nice look. There. See you again, Steve. Yeah, he I also kind of sounds like Bobby. Yeah. Freeze, punk. Hello there, youngster. You say the aliens <sighs> I was telling you about? Well, they came back last night. Cut another crop circle in myself. And now there's goddamn aliens. How come I never seen none of them saw that would make more sense than anything, right? At this point, <laughs> the aliens is wily. We don't cross the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. You know what Pastor really did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. 
protect the pole. The barber's pole. Wow. Yeah. That barber's pole he is, is his pride and joy. Let's have a close-up look at it. Brought it all the way over from Italy, wrapped all special-like. Yeah. So I'm wondering why we're getting that. It ain't nothing little screen glad. of all the frames of the video. It's just something it's doing while it's loaded it up. I mean, obviously that's the actual resolution of the video. Yeah. This is very low resolution. I don't know. It's just the way it's dealing with it. Piece of junk like that. I don't know. Maybe them aliens, Clem. Oh, Pete, don't be ignorant. Them aliens don't give a fig for no colored glass. You think if they can build spaceships, they can't make a bad gum barber pole? I wish I talked like this. Nothing about science. What? Talking like I don't. No, well, I don't give no fig. Yeah, you should just do it. There's nothing to stop you. Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Dang idiot crosswired it through the fire sprinkler. <laughs> you could get now away with this very off, easily. Calling people idiots. Tarnation. I don't tarnation. Alien looking for intelligent life out and stay away. All right. Uh. The, the, uh. Oh. Well, son. The ways, ways of the, of the alien, alien is a specialized area, area of woodcraft area unknown to all, but the wiliest sportsman. But the wiliest sportsman. What you gotta remember? What you gotta remember. Your average alien your is average smarter alien than your average human. Than so you gotta be extra so careful you be building extra your bind. You want a bag one. You. Hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien, you can never go back to quail. <laughs> oh. Uh, that, oh, hey. What? You think you can get one of those at a swap meet? He got himself an alien, alright. Is that real? Line your blind with lead. I mean, it's, to fool it's right there. Live and in person. Real quiet. Where was Can't that? I don't see here. Line your blind with lead to fool their machines. I feel like that's going to be important. Field, <laughs> I don't know why. Clem. Wait for them to come a-carving. All they do, their crop doodles, with zap guns at their full. Don't you know nothing? Besides, ain't no place to put the blind out in the field. Now, you listen to Clem Parsons if you want to tag an unearthly being. Of course, his name is no Clem Parsons. Wondering what lies beyond all the time, not knowing that what awaits them is buckshot. Bye. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Bye. The posters in this place. Glenn Parsons took this rare photograph of an extraterrestrial. Uh, Colonel Buster Monroe flipping the bird from his B-17 cockpit. It's a second reference to a B-17. Yeah, it was a B-17 model. Ow! You alright? I'm fine. Okay. What about his pole? Hmm. True sportsman to hunt down those dangerous cows. Picture of Mr. Pastorelli as a young buck. Picture of young Mr. Pastorelli. Spaghetti on his mouth and all. <laughs> <laughs> Made of solidified moose and sticky hairspray. This lovely mannequin is a work of art. Don't yet. Let's see a fancy barber's pole secured mm. to the wall. With straight slot screws. So that's the sprinkler system. Jim Bob, who was the high school star pitcher 20 years ago, hangs his aging leather or letter jacket here when he comes in for a trim. I got all that from looking at that? Yep. Oh, there's the alien head. Oh, an unfortunate extraterrestrial who journeyed hundreds of light years to wind up mounted on a barber's wall. Except for its occasional hairball cough, it's hard to tell if the sheep is alive or not. No. Um... So there's, you actually don't have much to do today. Yeah. But I'll tell you where you have to go to do it. Where? Head on over to the post office real quick. My, what's this? What the fuck? Oh, there's a manhole key stuck in a manhole cover. Oh! Sure would be great if you had that manhole key. But gosh, it's stuck. Well, looks like I can take my... Cough, damp on door lube. Yeah, that should loosen it up a bit. Well, got yourself your very own manhole key. There we go. Okay, now um, why don't we use it on the manhole? Nah, not that one. We use it on the car. No, gotta bash that car up good. 
No, Chad, calm down. But I will Fuck! I will say Nightfall descends upon harvest. Good, good. But this day was the shortest day of all. Remember when they said how crazy shit got at night? Did this not happen the first day? No. We never had to deal with night? No! I wonder what's gonna happen. I wonder if we're gonna have to fight things off. I don't know. It's not in this. Nighttime. What a terrible night for a curse. Harvest. So, um. <coughs> Well, uh, I still well, don't have a way to scratch that car. Right now would be the opportune time, I'm assuming. But I don't have the means to do such. So I guess I can't do it right now. Unless... Well, you... Unless there's a tool. Well, remember. Remember. What? That, uh, we'll go, try going to his. Why don't you go to his house, see what happens. Okay. That's right. He keeps it in his garage, remember? But luckily, you might be able to find a way in. Oh, <laughs> my minor prank! God. Small passageway leads into the sewers. Get in there, oh boy. In it. A, a, oh. What's that about a corroded wall? Hold on. Moisture form, uh, has formed along the surface of the wheel valve. That's a sealed wall. I wouldn't worry about that one. It's been resealed damage uh, due to water damage. Rusted grate, bolted, damp floor. All right, so what do we have? Uh, oh, you got the lights. Bright set of lights right across the ceiling. But you do have a corroded Oh, there it is. Wall. There it is. What are you going to do about that corroded wall? I'm going I'm to bash it. I'm going bash, to bash it. Okay. Not with Damn that, it. you won't. Bash it good with a champ. Hey, wait a minute. I don't have a thing. I'm thinking of... Oh, my God. I actually confused because we're, we're recording this the same day as Are You Afraid of the Dark. You need a shovel. I ain't got no shovel. Where did I get a shovel? Where the hell's a shovel? All right, well, let's look around. Oh. Night nighttime should be fine. Oh, shovel. Probably the cemetery. Nope. Probably the mortuary. Nope. Probably the uh, meat plant. Nope. Got uh, missiles. Nah, I wouldn't go there. You gonna go to buy it at nah, the general store? they don't have it. I got it at home. No, you don't. Uh, maybe Stephanie's got one. No. Uh, they keep it at the post. Uh, the fires. No, they don't? The newspaper building would burn down. Probably left. Probably. Left there in the muck. It's probably, probably just sitting right there. Probably just sitting on top. All right. Good. Good thing I remembered that. Yeah. It's, it's probably. Good, it's probably. You had to really search your memory, but you remembered. I I had to go into my mental palace. I I, I I'm I've, I've got corridors upon corridors of thoughts and memories, <laughs> such as where they keep shuffles. All right. So we got that open. I still don't have a tool to scratch the car. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you're about to go into a. I mean, assuming you you are, you're able to find the entrance, you're going to be entering a garage. Let's see, cans, empty oil cans. Oh, you're in the garage. You're in the under yes. side of it, the pit. All right. Oh, look at this. Oh, I could just use all kinds of things. I bet. It's a treasure trove of things to scratch cars with. A myriad of goodies. Uh... This gas can is a similar model to the Postmaster's gas can. Heavily used tool sharpener and sander. Flashlight is missing batteries. Okay, can you grab any of those after looking at it? So screwdriver! <gasps> oh, I'm gonna need that for my, uh, grab the security fence, too. You could probably do a few things. I would think, anyway. Used for gophers. Um, oh. Poor gophers. Uh, tucker, tucker, tucker. You don't have to grab the gas can, right? You can't. Uh, no, it won't let me grab it. anything. Right. Oh, wait, what? what? Was it thinking of you, Edna? Oh, etched on the side of the blowtorch. Great. The one he was going, Edna! And what blood drive has been marked out for the upcoming Saturday? It's Texas. Is this all Texas? 
This all makes so much more it sense does. now. It absolutely does. Sexiest tomboy. All right. Okay. Well, now you've. This music got all creepy. Oh, that's yeah, back to fine. Oh, jeez. A solitary scratch. What happened? Did it. I guess it happened. Wouldn't worry about it. All right, I should probably get the fuck out of here, right? Can you grab anything out of here while you're here? Like the uh, pitchfork or anything? No. Dolly, maybe? Might be useful after the wedding. Oh, man. Really? We're carrying the dolly with us? It's just in my pockets? Uh, right. pick up the French dolly and the pitchfork. Pitchfork? Oh, there we go. What's the... How do I get out? Get out of here. How? Underneath the car, under the car. It's the pit. I'm not happy about this uh, dinging. Makes it sound like something bad's about to happen. Oh, yeah, everything is fine. fine. All right. Look at that. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. I should probably... Should I put the manhole cover back on? Uh, nope. Nope. Nah. Okay. Somebody else will take care of it. All right. Well, you got a shovel, though. I mean... I got a shovel. I got a pitchfork. I got, I got a dolly. You could... I bet there's a really useful place for that shovel. Cemetery. Maybe. That's... I mean, where else would I be using a shovel? Right? We haven't been here yet. No, we haven't. Oh. That's some of this grave site reads Jonathan A. Rhinecliffe. The air reeks of fresh soil and manure. Here lies Boxcar Willie. <laughs> Unmarked. The scripture on the headstone is faded beyond legibility. Is, that a, is there somebody in the background there? No. I can't tell. There's bad lighting from here. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Go, uh, keep going. Walking around. Walking around. The unnamed Tobo. Is there else you could go here? Okay. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Damn it. Oh, man. Well, that didn't okay. work. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this way. Hey! Is that meat guy? Looks Stephanie's like father? Sure looks like him. I just prepared especially for your- oh, good. Let's chat with him. How's he doing? Oh, Jesus. Oh, what's he up to? Probably looking for meat. What are you doing here at this hour, Mr. Potsdam? Uh, I don't have to fight him, do I'm I? I'm burying our cat. She passed away and I'm burying her. Go away and mind your own business. Aw, the poor cat. Then, where's the cat? Ladies and gentlemen, I, my father-in-law. <laughs> now leave me alone! Okay. You got those? You got them matches? This kind of stuff can come back to haunt you. Ooh, I wouldn't, this... I wouldn't bother him anymore. So I got the matches. Uh, but, I mean... Um, you know, last thing I would do, uh, I wouldn't go to sleep without letting somebody know I completed my task. Oh, yeah, of course. But so we got a mausoleum here. That's probably probably can't get in there yet. Leaning sycamore is dead rotten. Okay. Can I exit this side? No. All right. Ew. <laughs> Great. Gotta go. Bunch of farts. Uh. All hey, right. Hey, this cool guy. All right. I I I pulled the prank. I pranked him, bro. You have completed How'd you your know? first task. Now that you've scratched the tucker, you may proceed oh, to no. your second task. You will steal a bolt of fire. They're gonna hate that. Yeah. Like, remember how excited he was about that bolt? Yeah. I wouldn't dare say that to him. All right. Very well. Then. Listen to his voice. Use you don't mess with somebody who talks like that. Fucking Dr. Claw. Yeah. Use whatever means necessary. Your third task. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Oh, what's happening? Oh, okay. We automatically ended the day. Got it. I shot at him. I'm wondering how much I completed. 
a lot. <laughs> that I didn't I actually, need to. I actually looked through, like, just to see generally, like, how long it is. It's not that long. We, so, can be, we, we will finish this next week when we record. Like, this is actually this is going to be the last episode we record today. Yeah. Tomorrow's episode will be us recording a week later. Well, five days later. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's Wednesday. I forgot. More nightmares. Is it just the same thing? Yeah. Oh, it's lame. Wait. Oh. Here comes Eyeball Man. Burger. My eyeballs! <laughs> the electricity's too much. See, his, I don't know. I don't, I don't like his eyes. He's got like two soft eye, of eyes. Yeah. He's not leading man material. No. That's what it is. How this guy got the role, I, I, I don't get it. I don't think, well, they're not actors. They're, they're just, he's probably one of the fucking developers. Maybe. All right, well, let's save the game here. We're on day three, and uh, we got to remember. You know what? Put it in the game name. Uh, day three... Give sneakers to kid. Give, uh, give kid the sneaks. <laughs> Good, because we got to remember to do that first thing. So we'll see you back here tomorrow for more. That's probably, I, I got to imagine, is Halloween over by now? I don't know. Probably. I don't know. Sure, Halloween might be over, but uh, Chad, Chad and Russellween isn't. Yeah, it's still going. Chad and Russellween lasts all, as long all as fourth does, quarter now. As long as this thing goes, hopefully not that <laughs> too long. But make sure to like, share, subscribe. Tune in tomorrow for another episode of this. I don't, I don't know where this is going. No. I was expecting a lot of blood and gore so far. All I've gotten is a lot of just fucking creeps. Yeah. That's really all this game has been, has just been the worst people. It's just unsettling. I wouldn't even say that. It's it just is. like, ugh. That's just, what I mean. Uh, to me, that's what unsettling equals. Just, ugh. Like, I feel like unsettling... The When I think of the term unsettling, it kind of, like, shakes me to my core. This is just like a... You're fucking gross. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to... I This skeeves me out. I wouldn't want to spend much time with the person who made this. No. No. No, especially, I feel like, I don't know. After that whole wasp woman segment, I feel like I would hate talking to this guy. <laughs> yeah, I I like watching his work. Yeah, no, don't get me but wrong. I, that's about it. That's what I'd want to leave it at. No, I want to I wanna see the game unfold, but I don't want to fucking know the guy. That's all you really need to do as an artist. I guess. If people want to see your work, then they don't need to want to talk to you. We'll <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Bye!